All right, let's try how to calculate total resistance in some work examples. So let's look at this setup over here. There are two 2 ohm resistors that are connected and they are in series, all right? And then underneath on a different pathway, there is the 3 ohm. And on the other side, there's 4 ohms, okay? So what we're going to do is that we're going to break it up so that we can do it part by part. So this part is quite straightforward, all right? So let's call this RA, okay? So we're going to do RA first. So we learned that RA resist these are two resistors con uh, they are connected in series. So total resistance, you just have to add it up together. It goes to 4 ohms, okay? All right? So you can actually imagine these two ohms, these two resistors become one big resistor here. All right? And this is actually 4 ohms. So this big one and this three, okay? This is our second group that we'll tackle. Okay, RB. Okay. So RB, you will have them connected in parallel. Okay, right. So, okay. 1 over RB is equal to 1 over 4 plus 1 over 3. 4, I got it from here. 3 is here. Okay. So 1 over RB, common factor is 12 in this case. 3 plus 4 over 12 over 12 is equal to 7 over 12. So RB, we flip it around, equals to 12 over 7, which I get 1.71 ohms. Okay, all right. And now, this whole thing, okay, RB with 4, they are actually connected in the same pathway. So this whole thing is your final one, RC. And they're actually connected in series. Okay, so RC is equals to 1.71 and series, how do we add them together? Just add straight. Plus 4 is 5.71 ohms. So that's your final answer. So hope you understand this concept. Okay, we're going to have another example right here. Okay, second one. All right, illustration 2. I know it looks pretty complex with the nice angles and all that, but it's still just a bunch of resistors connected. Okay, so let's break it down. All right, so first of all, you see these two 2 ohm resistors, they are actually along the same path. So same path means what? They are in series, all right? Okay, look like a boomerang, all right? Then you see these two 3 ohms, they are also along the same path. So they are also in series. So let's call this RA and let's call this RB. We can definitely settle these two composite resistance first. So RA, and series, we just add them up, it goes to 2 plus 2 is equals to 4 ohms, all right? RB is equals to 3 plus 3 is equals to 6 ohms, all right? So you have these two up already. So if you look at this one as one big resistor, one big resistor and the 4, so these three groups, they are actually in parallel. So the final one, 1 over R total is equals to 1 over... 4, I got it from here, the composite, plus this one, 1 over 4, plus 1 over 6, okay? So 1 over R total, so in this case, common factor is 12 again, 12 plus 3, 3 over 12, plus times 2, 2 over 12, so you will get 7 over 12, so R total is equals to 12 over 7, all right? Okay, it's also 1.71 ohms. So that's our answer, all right? Simple. Thank you.